Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a world-class comparison today. Now, to me, this is what my channel is all about. It's comparisons like this that make life worth living. This is the finals. This is the final matchup in this series of the best of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I must say, these are the two best versions. I'm going to go out on a limb and say for sure these are the two best versions. There was a couple other good ones, 71 and 73 namely. But these are the two top dogs. Look at how much more massive he is in 1974. The pecs alone. Those pecs, they're balloons. My word. And I mean, remember watching Pumping Iron, how big his pecs were? Imagine if they had it did that movie with all that fine filming in 74, how big and thick his pecs would have been? Incredible. It's a very unclear picture, so the conditioning still looks better in 1975. But that could be the clarity of the picture. Let's go into the front double bicep pose. And I can already hear the disappointment. Don't worry, I would not show such an out-of-scale comparison here at Mark's Max Muscle. Now, there is this other one here, and it's still, it's the, the angle of the shots in 74. They were so low, the podium must have been so high. But I did stumble upon this one here. Now, I always thought this was a 73, but it says it's a 75, or 74, rather. And it's, I have to say... If this is a 1974, he is much better. The conditioning looks just as good. This is a nice, clear picture. So you're able to see. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. If you know what year this is, it, the website that I was looking at did say 74. But I'm not positive. But man, those peaks are nice and pointy in 75. But nothing doing. 74. If this is 74, has this one. Piece of cake front lat spread it's not exactly a, a fair comparison i suppose one would say it is an on-stage picture after all for 1975 and of course this is a photo shoot picture from 74 or so the website claims now that i really look it's obvious photo shoot or not look at how much more massive his legs are in 1974 even though the arms appear to be a little bit larger but the rest of the shot, I think, belongs to 75. Look at the lats. Very Dorian-esque. Now, it's hard to say whether he is actually hitting a rear lat spread or not. He looks like he is looking in a mirror. Hard to say. Either way, those legs, those legs. And we are looking for the best version, after all. And when a version has, I mean, a few inches on the lag department, I mean, very hard to beat. Very hard to beat, indeed. Let's go to the next pose, which is, of course, one of Arnold's finest, the side chest pose. Not one of his best here in 75 at all. He loses thickness. Look at how thick his big pad of a chest is in 1974. Now the angle is much more favorable for 74. But there is this one here, and it it is basically the same angle. and it, It's obvious. Look how thick that peck is. 74 gets this one. But man, this 74 side chest, this picture here, this is iconic. I don't think there's ever been a side chest as good as this one. My soul, my soul, I do believe 74 is going to take this. And this is a not a bad little comparison, I suppose. Ah, who am I kidding? That camera angle and the distortion of 74 makes this one really impossible to judge. I mean, if one was going to make a fanboy version of this, if they were a fanboy for 75, I mean, yes, anybody could really make a comparison video and favor 75 if that was their favorite version. Clear, clear to me that 75 is the better version. Take a look. I mean, yeah. Anyway, we don't do that at Mark's Max Muscle. We do not count comparisons such as this. And as this elemental creature turns around to display his back development, it is plain to me that the calves are much larger in 74. But the, the lighting is terrible. Let's go with this one here of 74. 
Look at that back. And when you really look at the lower back, conditioning just as good. Look at the Christmas tree area. He's just a big bull. Look at the shoulders, delts, just the thickness of that back and the traps. He does look good in 75, I will give him that. But nothing doing. Look at the size of those quads. And have a good look. The glutes, the glutes appear to be better in 74. That means the conditioning was just as good. Huh? Anyway, it is going towards 74, this entire matchup, and only a couple of poses to go. But it is definitely worthwhile. This is the main event. Here we go with the rear double bicep comparison. This is another one of those pose comparisons that just makes life worth living. Now, the camera angle is a little bit low in the part of 74, but that really would only take a little bit of size away from that back. This is not a size thing. This is a conditioning thing. Look at the 1975 back double by. For those of you who were favoring 75 in this, take a sharp look at this one. As far as this pose is concerned, you are right. 75 is the better man, but that's one pose. There was this here pose for 1974, and it is a, he is going for a front double by. But really have a good look at that, how thick his traps were. He had some capabilities there. I don't think his conditioning was quite so sharp. I mean, you can see some vascularity in those traps. Oh, that 1975 rear double by. I'm using this one in his gladiator round matches. This rear double by of 75. It's the best one, in my opinion. Here is a nice quarter turn rear double bicep. Nice pose. Arnold really put his stamp on this one over the years. Much thicker in the lag department for 74. But I don't know. I almost like his back development better the most in 1975. He really did work out his back a lot. I remember in 75, or in the uh, movie Pumping Iron, he was doing a lot of T-bar rows and a lot of back work. But as we've seen from the rear relaxed position, that back meant business also in 74. The lighting is really, it's not good enough in 74 to make a real conscious decision on this. But it doesn't matter. 74, in my opinion, has this one. But let's celebrate the oak. We can continue on this one with this here, the final pose. How fitting. The most muscular. And what's even more fitting is that 1974 not only takes this entire competition, but he also takes this final pose. This, bo this pose, this most muscular, was designed for the 74 physique of Arnold. Through and through, look at the arms, delts, biceps, and the pecs. Just as strided, much bigger and thicker. Traps look a little bit bigger due to the camera angle. That's about it. The lags twice as big in 74. You guys made me a believer out of the 74 Arnold. No, uh, correct, correct. May I'll make a correction. Arnold made me a believer of the 1974 Arnold Schwarzenegger version. Clearly, this is the best version of Arnold Schwarzenegger ever. I mean, don't get me wrong. 74 had some stiff competition. There was 71. That was good. 73 was awesome as well. And of course, we will never forget that 1975 pumping iron Arnold Schwarzenegger. But they can all take a back seat to the 1974 Mr. Olympia Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'd like to take this time to thank Arnold himself. Thank you very much, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Without your hard work and dedication to this sport, it probably wouldn't even be half as big as it is now. You are the biggest influence on this sport ever. And I dare I say, any bodybuilder to come in the future would never, ever come close to the fame of one Arnold Schwarzenegger. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'd like to thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button as of late. My sub level is growing on a daily basis. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and tap that button and increase my number even one higher. Have a great day.